So I'm playing some songs from Psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs. I'm going to do one more in this opening medley. And then I'm going to pass this little wiggle worm off screen. Okay, let's see. This is Praise My Soul, the King of Heaven. Hey, now. Those are not the right notes. So someone asked me to please play my opening medley with her on my lap. So uh, we practiced a lot like this. Like I worked through different things, but not actually like playing full strength on video. So this was fun. But yeah, so now I'm going <laughs> to hand her over to Aunt Emmy and they're going to go out and take a walk. <laughs> so, okay. So I played several from Psalms, Hymns, and Spiritual Songs, which is the book that I'm going to be playing from. And the second song I played, if you're just joining us, was How Tedious and Tasteless the Hours. And when Josh was typing the title on screen, he said, who in the world wrote that and would title a song that? And it's John Newton who also wrote Amazing Grace. <laughs> so it's actually, the message of it is how tedious and tasteless the hours when Jesus no longer I see. And then the last line says, but when I am happy in him, December's as pleasant as May. So it's talking about being content whenever you have the Lord in spite of whatever else may be going on. So the third verse says, content with beholding his face, my all to his pleasure resigned. No changes of season or place would make any change in my mind. So the words are really beautiful, even if the title is a little bit confusing. So really great song. And Bach wrote the music, so good stuff. And I'm going to play as many of your requests, particularly from this book. And I have a really wonderful spiral bound edition of it. So it's Psalms and Hymns and Spiritual Songs published by Melody Publications. And I tagged them in my comment on the afternoon set. So if you guys don't have this book, I highly recommend it. So, all right, Josh is back there and he will tell me what you want to hear. Okay, let's start off with Complete in Thee. Okay. Let's do He Hideth My Soul. Okay.
Did y'all see me get terrified of that little fuzz? A fuzz came out of somewhere and landed on the piano, and I was afraid it was a spider, so it about scared me into forgetting where I was. Huh, okay. It's okay. <laughs> Take a deep breath. Okay, that's one of my worst fears is, is spiders showing up on the piano while I'm playing, and it has happened before, so it's not an unfounded fear. So we were, I was playing a camp meeting service in the Philippines, in 2007, and a uh, upright piano and a very large spider came crawling right across the top. And it's traumatic. <laughs> okay. How about we calm everything down with In the Garden? In the Garden, okay. <laughs> Okay, um, Mark Lane asked if you could play Itsy Bitsy Spider. It's a bit very hilarious, yeah. Excellent, excellent. Never okay. done that on a live, that's for sure. So. Okay, how about... Do you know the old-fashioned way? The old-fashioned way. Um, not that I know of. Um, let's see. Mm. The old, nope, nope. All right, well, let's do number 398. 398. This is a favorite of yours. Oh, it is. Arise, my soul, arise. And our new church hymnal does not have it. This is absolutely one of my favorites. Arise, my soul, arise. And I love, the book of Hebrews is one of my favorite books in the Bible. And one of my favorite things about this hymnal is that they have a scripture verse beside every line of every verse where that comes from in scripture. And a lot of these are from Hebrews, of course, because it, the, the whole idea is about Christ being our intercessor and how he is pleading before the Father for us. And there, there's a lot of deep theology and all of that. And you can study Romans and Hebrews and it explains a lot more of it. But it, I just absolutely love it. And my, oh man, I don't even know. They're all my favorite verses. There's no way to pick one. But I'll read the second verse. He ever lives above for me to intercede. His all redeeming love, his precious blood to plead. His blood atoned for all our race 
and sprinkles now the throne of grace. So I just absolutely love that. So yeah, this is one of my favorites. So. Amen. Okay. Um, someone asked, where is that book available? Okay, melodypublications.com. And if you can get it, they have the most beautiful editions of it. I love the spiral bound version just as a pianist, but I also have just a regular binding. But the wonderful thing about it is it lays flat. And that I noticed that with the very first hymnal they sent me was that it lay flat even when it was on the piano without a clip or anything. It's just got beautiful binding. They have a leather edition, which is just a beautiful gift. I think they can even engrave your name on it, I believe. Oh, thank you. So yeah, they have the regular one. Josh just brought this to me. And they have a shape note version. And they have red and tan. I have loaned my tan copy to my mom and then there's a, a blue and then I think both of these are blue yeah so I have the blue and the spiral bound and the regular binding but it's a really wonderful hymnal for um, like personal Bible study and I am like thrilled to share that with y'all not it's not just a like it, I, it, I don't share a company with you that I don't personally really really believe in and I, I love what they're doing they have wood you can buy certain hymn, hymns on wood and I, it's gorgeous so yeah Really wonderful hymnal. Yes, and I'm not sure. The last time I was on the website, um, they're actually printing another edition, mm -hmm. so you might have a little wait if you do order one. I think it was pre-order the last time I looked. Um, but anyway, if anyone actually is on here who knows when that might be available, feel free to comment that. Absolutely. Um, all right, what did we just do? Okay, he ransomed me. He ransomed me. There's a sweet and blessed story. I probably should. I, uh, let's see. I'll see if it's in here first before I start hacking away at it and then forgetting part of it. Let's see. He ransomed me, 435. That's one of those that I haven't done in a very long time, and I don't want to mess up somebody's favorite. <laughs>
88. His grace is sufficient. His grace is sufficient. 88. Okay. Yeah, I'm glad I opened it. This is not the same His grace is sufficient I was thinking of. So I think I'm sight reading. So we'll see. beautiful all right let's do he abides he abides Have you been practicing? I, not yeah. extra. Oh, okay. Just other than church. So. All right. Let's do... <laughs> Thanks. Uh, the, <laughs> this next request, uh, the title is He Died for Me. He Died for Me. And it's a John Newton song. Okay. Um, I, I'm, that is kind of ringing a bell, and I'm wondering if I played that in a medley on the cross earlier this year. And I, maybe I didn't, but I feel like I practiced it. And then I'm probably gonna play it and it's not gonna sound like I did it all. He died for me. It's not in this book. So. Okie dokie. Well, that's gonna be hard to play then. I don't, yeah, I don't know it by memory, so. All right, let's do Have Thine Own Way. Okay.
right, someone requests that you play a spiritual of your choice. A spiritual of my choice. Um, let's see. So there's a children's music channel called Cedarmont Kids, and we grew up with their VHS tapes. Well, of course, now they have a YouTube channel, so I had that playing the other day. So this is I Got Shoes, which has always been one of my favorite spirituals. I have no idea why. Okay, this one is 626 in the book, but it's Lead Me to Calvary, so. 626, Lead Me to Calvary. Okay, that one I do know, but I'll still turn to it just in case. So, King of my life, I crown thee now. Thine shall the glory be. Lest I forget thy thorn crown brow, lead me to Calvary. Okay, and number 392, which is Under His Wings. Under His Wings, a beautiful one. I, uh, just a few weeks ago, I asked Josh if we could sing that as a congregational. And we did. It's a beautiful song, really, really wonderful. Ira Sankey and William Cushing. Under his wings I am safely abiding. Though the night deepens and tempests are wild, still I can trust him. I know he will keep me. He has redeemed me, and I am his child. <laughs>
All right, let's do a couple of, I guess these are probably Redback songs. Okay. In the Sweet Forever. Yes. One of my favorites. So one thought about that song I just played, Under His Wings, talks about trusting the Lord. We just um, did a YouTube video of a medley of all songs about trust. And I just, that was on my heart the day we were filming. And I said, I want to play several that are just a medley about putting our confidence and trust in the Lord. And I played several new ones that I didn't really know very well. They come from this book, though. And um, it's just a really wonderful thought that we really can rest. And there's a lot to be said in the book of Psalms about the shadow of his wings and how he covers us with his feathers. And that's a beautiful picture of protection and safety and confidence. And so that just kind of meditate on that. But that that song, that medley was a lot of fun for me to learn several new ones that all still had the same theme. So it's a wonderful thing to be able to trust in the Lord. In the sweet forever, am I playing another one with that? Um, you can do I Want to Know More About My Lord. Okay, I'll put them together. In the sweet forever and I want to know more about my Lord. Okay. that one a bit fast. Sorry about that. So. Okay. Do let, do you know, will there be any stars in my crown? Um, not well enough to play it by memory. I, I have it in a book and I have played it on a live episode before, but not, not well enough to try to attempt it without a book. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Do you know a song titled Christ Alone? Christ alone. 
No, other than In Christ Alone, which I believe I played last episode. So I don't, I don't know one just separately called Christ Alone. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Nope. Okay. Well, let's see here. How about if you take a few minutes and tell us about um, the choir conference? Okay. July 29th and 30th. We want you guys to join us in Greenville, South Carolina, that's our hometown, at Bethel Calvary Baptist Church. And our family, the Reigns family, is hosting it in conjunction with Brother Byron Fox of Bible Truth Music. And we're having a hymn sing on that Friday night at 7 o'clock. And that no registration is required for it. Just come to the upstate, make a weekend trip out of it, and join us for that. That's going to be super fun. And then Saturday is the choir workshop from 9 to 3. So that's July 30th. We're going to learn some really fun new music. And the theme is Sing of Thy Power. And I've got two new songs that we'll be sharing. And then um, Byron Fox will be bringing some music as well. And my dad will be directing. And Josh will be directing. And Brother Fox will be. And I get to play. And it's going to be so fun. So please bring your choirs. If You get a group discount if you bring 10 or more choir members. So just fill up the bus and van and come join us. We, we're looking forward to a really great weekend. So that's July 29th and 30th. But no registration is required for the hymn sing. So if you're not in a choir, just you just want to come for that part of it, feel free. So we'd love to have you. So okay, that's my promo. And this weekend, speaking of hymn sings, we're going to be in Fort Collins, Colorado, at the Walker Manufacturing Company hymn sing. It's an outdoor open air event, and we are super excited about that. So we'll be flying that direction on Friday. So if you live near Fort Collins or within that a few hours radius, come join us at that event. That's going to be super cool, too. So Josh is leading a set, and I'm playing a set, and Emily is playing her violin, and we're going to be singing some. So lots of fun stuff. Yes, the hymn sing will be live streamed, mm -hmm. the one at our church. Yep. I don't know about the one in Colorado. I'm assuming maybe no, because it is an outdoor event. Yeah. I'm not sure. And then, um, let's see, what else? You all need to come. Yes, please do. You don't have to honored. even be necessarily, uh, if you enjoy singing, then that's good enough reason to be there. Absolutely. Um, and you will get to learn new music and just have a good time. And, and lunch is provided on Saturday. That's true. If if so. you sign up, all that will be <laughs> taken care of. And the music. Like, that's why there is a, yeah. a cost to it is for printing the music and providing lunch. So, so it's you can register at therainsfamily.com. And then on the shop page, there's a link to register for that. And then you'll get all of your music when you get there that morning. So, And we've also posted the link under the cover photo on our page right now. So, And we'll share it again. Don't worry. So, Okay. I'm excited. Let's see. What do we have here? Let's do uh, the winning side. The winning side. <laughs>
Do you know Alleluia? Alleluia? Uh, yeah, yes, I know the chorus. It's just, as far as I know, I believe it's in our hymnal, actually. It's just a chorus, and it repeats. I think there's like six different verses. So the first verse is, Alleluia, Alleluia. And then the second verse is, I will praise Him, I will praise Him. So it's like that. But this is the one I think you're talking about. did your cello playing go? I shared a clip of it at the request of people. Not, I, I, I wouldn't have done that. But if I posted about it, I, a lighthearted joke that Josh thought my cello needed repaired because he heard me practicing, which he didn't. The song we played last night was Who Is On The Lord's Side in the Key of C, which is pretty simple. The song he heard me practicing in addition to that one was a duet that I'm working on with our other cellist in the church. It was Be Thou My Vision in the Key of E, and it, it was pretty rough. It really was. So that's why he asked that. So, yes, I thought it went really well, and we're going to do that more often. We're going to play more regular offertories with our new string ensemble. So I thought it went very well. I've been made fun of my cello playing from my loving family for years because of how badly I struggled to play Pachelbel's Canon. So, yeah. But it couldn't have been that bad. We played in tons of weddings when I was a teenager. We had a string ensemble with my cousin and us siblings. And um, I played the cello there. So I was just a little out of practice. <laughs> it actually sounded quite good. Thank you. So, someone asked if I would please now play it on the lives. That's going to be a no because it do, it doesn't really sound that great by itself. If I if I'm playing with other people, it masks a lot. So maybe we'll put together a live with a string quartet. Ooh. Okay. What do you think? Yeah, yeah. If I, I don't practice. think she likes the idea, but it could happen. It could happen. It could happen. <laughs> um, how about it could happen in a moment? He could have called 10,000 angels. Okay.
great song. 716. 716. Okay. I, I must be getting a little sleepy. Uh, when you said that, I thought, I don't know a song titled 716. Okay. Lead on, O King Eternal. I do know this song. Um, my high school choir teacher made us memorize it. So this is one of those. Um, you've probably, if you've, if you've watched regularly enough, you have heard me tell this. But she had us memorize a new hymn every single month. And I had the same choir teacher. She was actually also my piano teacher and voice teacher from um, fifth grade all the way through 12th grade. So she was my piano teacher from kindergarten through 12th grade, Mrs. Ina Pegram. She's an, a, a musical genius, and I owe a great debt to her for how hard she made me work. But this is one that she made us memorize. So. This hymn was written by, let's see, Mr. Shirtleff, Ernest Shirtleff. And he was educated at Harvard and Andover Theological Seminary. And he wrote this as a parting song addressed to his fellow classmates as he concluded his training at Andover. So another neat thing about this hymnal is they have a lot of hymn histories right below that title. So that's a lot of fun. I enjoy reading about hymn histories, and I've enjoyed sharing them with you guys on Fridays. We've been doing a little series of Friday hymn histories, so that's a great thing about this book. Number 43. 43. Mm -hmm. What a Savior is mine. Oh, wow, I have never seen music for this. Eliza Hewitt wrote the words and the music, and I shared one of hers um, a couple weeks ago on a hymn history, but she was a personal friend of Fanny Crosby. Um, wow, what? Oh, this is really special. Okay, so this is a song I've known for years and years. My aunt sang it as a solo in our home church growing up, and um, I, I just had never seen music, so now I do know this song. <laughs>
I thoroughly enjoyed that. Thank you to whoever requested it. That was wonderful. Someone commented that it sounds a bit like the Haven of Rest, and I agree. I felt, I heard the same thing, especially at the beginning of the verses, I believe. Uh, I guess it does have the same chord progression at the beginning. Yes, that's true. So, wow, I didn't make that connection. All right, let's do a verse of Victory in Jesus. Victory in Jesus. Some of these old hymn titles are so interesting. 803 is Like to Plants That Vigorous Grow. I don't know that song, but okay. All right. God give us Christian homes, homes where the Bible is loved and taught, homes where the master's will is sought, homes crowned with beauty your love has wrought. God give us Christian homes. God give us Christian homes. Wow, I like that. I don't, I don't know that I know this song. I'm about to figure, find out, but um, we'll see. I was telling my Sunday school class yesterday, I love where it says, homes where the Bible is loved and taught. And I was telling them, we're going through Proverbs this year, and we're in chapter 8. And it talks about wisdom being equal to truth, and truth, the source of truth is God's Word. And we live in a culture that says there is no absolute truth, that truth is just subjective to your opinion and my opinion, but God's Word is the source of truth, and there are absolutes in the Word of God. There are things that are true, and there are things that are not true, and God's Word makes it really, really plain. Um, there's not nearly as much gray area in the Christian life as a lot of times our flesh wants there to be. And God's Word makes it clear what is sin and what is not. So I love where it says there are homes where the Bible is loved and taught. And that's the source of truth. If you want to know about an issue and whether or not it's right or wrong, search the Scriptures. There will be an answer in there. So our, our children need to know that God's Word will not change and that that is the source of truth and to build our lives upon that, not upon the ever-changing opinions of culture anchored in the Word of God. So, all right, let's see if I'm sight reading or if this starts to ring a bell after I start playing. <laughs> Wow, those are beautiful words. Great song. All right, we're going to close out with God be with you till we meet again. Okay. 
Um, so let's see here. What do we need to review? Go on the website and sign up for the choir conference or yep. the hymn sing, either one. There's information on there. Mm -hmm. um, we want to see you. Mm -hmm. And if you're anywhere in the Fort Collins, Colorado area, we will be there this weekend yep. at the Walker Hymn Sing. Super yeah. excited about it. And there are two new patriotic arrangements up on the website. So I finally got around to doing America the Beautiful and My Country Tis of Thee. So if you're a church pianist and you're looking forward to the July 3rd service where you're going to have to play these patriotic songs, I've got two arrangements up there for you. So we'll have the videos up in a couple days, but there are previews for you to see the sheet music um, before purchase. So made them... How would you fill those out? Sometimes those songs that we don't play, but one Sunday a year can be a little bit tricky. So you can find an arrangement on the website. So. All right. <laughs> Thank you all for joining us yes. this evening. And we hope to see you soon. Sooner rather than later. Yeah, we're enjoying being mm -hmm. a little more consistent with the lives. So now that it's summertime, it seems like it's working out a little bit better. So thank y'all for joining us. We hope you have a wonderful week in the Lord. So spend some time with Jesus. When you don't understand God's word does not change, it can be trusted.